All right. So first thing we're going to want to do is simplify this. So we're going to set up long division. Here's your divisor. And then our numerator is going to be what we call our dividend. So when using long division, it does not matter how many terms your divisor has. We're only going to divide by our first term. Okay? We're only going to divide by that first term. So all we simply do is take this first term. We say how many times, and then you go into the first, just like we did with the numbers. You go into the first term of your dividend. How many times does x squared divide into x squared? And again, even if you get caught up on this, you kind of forget, just write it out. How many times does x squared divide into x squared? And it's pretty easiest. Cousin, didn't you ask me to do this? So that'd be it. So x squared divides into x squared. one time. And we can just put that right above there. But then what we need to do is we need to multiply that back over. So 1, so you've got to multiply this 1 times the x squared and the 1. So 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 1 is 1. Now, I'm going to put that under the common terms. Because if you guys remember adding and subtracting polynomials, we'd vertically align them because those are like terms. I can't add or subtract 1 from x. So I can only add and subtract 1 from 1. So that's why I'm vertically aligning them. Then I'm subtracting each one of these. So the way that I like to do it is just say subtraction and then just put them in parentheses. You don't really need to. I mean, you could just say x squared minus x squared we know is obviously 0. You could put a filler here and say this is going to be um, 0x, right? Because 0 times x is 0. But what is x minus 0x? That's just going to be x. And then 1 minus 1 is obviously 0. Then does x squared divide into x? How many times does x squared divide into x? Well, that's going to have a negative exponent, right? It's not, it actually doesn't evenly divide into it. So that's going to be our remainder. So therefore, we're going to say plus. x over the divisor, x squared plus 1. So you always take your remainder over your divisor. All right? So now let's go and write out, go back to our integral. And let's write this as 1 plus x over x squared plus 1. And I could rewrite this all as dx. So I could rewrite this as 1 dx. Plus over here, I could see that, ooh, um, x over x squared plus 1 dx. Whereas now, I notice that for this, I could use u substitution. So I could say u equals x squared plus 1. du is equal to 2x dx, where I don't have a 2, but I do have an x, right? So I could say 2 du is It's 1 half. Divide by, yeah, it's 1 half du is equal to my x dx. There you go. Um, so let's go and integrate this 1. And we just make sure, do I have my, when I have my integral, integral of 1 over u du, do I have everything that is included there, but I should have a one app on the outside, right? There you go. Just make sure I've completed my work. Yes. Now I can just simply go ahead and integrate. So this is going to be x plus one half ln of u plus c, or x equals one half ln of x squared plus one. We'll see. 